Hey y'all in 4-H and H here. Well, you know, as the saying goes, all good things must come to an end. Well, the two trees that hold up my most important antennas to me are dead. Well, one is dead, the other one's dying. They're old maple trees. And let me zoom in. <clears throat> if you haven't seen any of these videos before where I showed this, there's the the ladder lock there in the middle, right above the chimney, you can see that. That is for the 160 meter dipole. Wires go left and right, of course. Uh, and then um, and, and there, there's that tree. Now it looks alive right now, but it's diseased. So it's gotta come down because it will eventually die. And the other tree, let me walk down this way. See that one with all the knots? That one is holding up my ZS6BKW. Let me zoom in. Uh, let's see if I can get on the on the ladder lock. There you see it. So that's my ZS6BKW, and that tree is completely dead, and it had the same disease on it a few months ago. Let me let me show you what I'm talking about. Yeah. Hello, good morning, girls. How you doing there, ladies? All right. That's uh, <clears throat> lavender and lilac. <laughs> My wife named them pets. But they do give us eggs. All right. So, see that white there? That's the disease. And a few months ago, this tree was covered in that. You see some of the residue. Uh, it was covered in it down here at the bottom. And now this tree is completely dead. And by the way, you can see there, there's the rock tied to the rope. You go see that little uh, hook there, or a little, let me, let me get closer there so you can see it, see? It goes through the eye bolt, eye screw really. And then up to support the ZS6BKW. So a tree crew is coming today and they're gonna take these two trees down. So, <laughs> what am I gonna do? I mean, I do have the off-center fed dipole is up that tree over there. Let me zoom in. See if I can get it in there where you can see. Uh, right to center of your screen, you'll see the six to one ballon. That's a Fritzl FD4 off-center fed dipole. It's good, been a good antenna for me. <clears throat> it's been a great antenna for me, but it doesn't outperform the ZS6 BKW in the 160 meter, meter doublet most of the time. So um, it'll be a great loss to lose these two if they're not able to find another place to support them. There's a tree back there. See, it's hovering right above this maple. There's a limb up there that looks like a possibility. The trick's gonna be getting the rope over it. I'd even rather have a pulley, but I don't think anybody can shimmy out on a limb that small. And that could hold the ZS6BKW because it just goes right straight above where it is now. <clears throat> the trick's gonna be, see this tree here is coming down, where to support the uh, 160 meter doublet. All right, I'll keep you posted as the day goes on. Hey, I'll just throw this in for free. Uh, here's lavender and lilac. I'm going to give them a treat. They love these dried mealworms. So I'm going to give them some. Yeah, I think they're anticipating it. Here you go, girls. Snack. <laughs> and my mother-in-law brings them strawberry tops and uh, they get lettuce besides their chicken feed which it goes in that little container there all right say bye girls well as you can see the tree surgeons are here the first tree is Almost down. Taking many of the limbs. Probably 
can't hear me over that grinder. There's the ladder lock for the doublet. The wire goes over that way. There's where the source of the noise is. Well, here's an update. I'm standing on the deck and it's still being built, but uh, that first tree is down. See the stump? That's the one that held up my doublet. So, looking at some limbs up in that area to rehang it. Now they're working on the tree that was holding the ZS6BKW. Well, as you can see, they're taking down the second maple the one that was holding the ZS6 BKW. There's my Fritzel all center fed dipole. Uh, there, <laughs> and there's the doublet center point. That hasn't been put back yet, of course. Uh, we're looking at the limb right there cluster of limbs off that pine tree for maybe supporting that. And you see they're being very careful not to damage the bridge down there or the shed. There's a little bridge right there and then the shed. And of course they don't want to hit the deck it's being built i didn't film it but they just uh they just dropped that one the second one boy it's opened up out there and we're looking at a limb right along in there for the zs6 bkw okay y'all he's uh he's about to throw it for that oak limb sticking out there right there And he nailed it. <laughs> oh, I, I might not have had that in frame. Okay, let me, well, I'll show you all that the doublet is back up, being supported by that limb right there. And the ZS6 BKW is back up. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, I'm trying to find the, insulator bear with me the glare of the sun is blocking it there it is see the ladder lock right there so i think both antennas may be just a few feet higher than they were hey y'all just buttoning up some loose ends <laughs> i don't mean that as a pun but, um, you know, you've heard me talk about my bungee system here and there. So for the middle of my antennas, I usually like to put an eye screw into the tree, bring the rope through it and tie it to a rock so it can move up and down. On the ends, I put a bungee. And the ZS6 BKW, which I'll show you the final resting place for it, um, it's a little higher than it was. Not too much, but somewhat. But this end the guy got his throw bag way up in the tree it's basically a horizontal dipole on this side <laughs> more of an inverted v on the other side but um anyway that meant a different route for the rope and i had to re retie my bungee so thought i'd let you guys take a look and see there's the eye screw there's the bungee and i just tie let's see if you can see that there tie a loop yeah see that loop and attach that with the bungee. And I don't have it extremely tight, just enough for the bungee to stretch out. And that way, if the trees move, the bungee gives. Um, and you can see there, I've, got, I've left some slack for the rope to stretch out a ways. All right, just thought I'd give you that little tip there too, as far as antennas go. I know I've shown that in another video, but uh, here it is with mine. I'll go show you the final spot now for the ZSX BKW and the doublet. I'm, Happy to say I got to keep both, and I still have my off-center fed dipole. I thought it might have to come down to make room for the other two, but so far so good. I think we're okay.
I'll show you where they are here in a minute. Okay, so there's the doublet. Definitely higher than it was. In fact, using up every bit of the window line. That's about 60 feet. And there is the ZS6BKW. Let me zoom in, see it right there. It ended up being, oh, it might be a foot or two taller than it was, <laughs> uh, but uh, it's higher on that one side. I mean, you can see that wire. See that? It's, it's basically horizontal. So, hey, uh, hope you enjoyed uh, my antenna work today. Like I said, I'm thrilled that I get to keep the all center fed dipole, which is right there. This tree crew was magnificent working around my wires. See, there's, there's the Fritzel FD4. Kind of a backup. It doesn't outperform the doublet in the ZS6 most of the time, but it makes a really good receive antenna. Um, and it's, it's one that I can get quickly on a bunch of bands without even turning on the amplifier, which has my antenna matching unit in it. So I kind of like to keep it. So I was able to, I'm very thrilled. And this shot here, this is the next day. The sun's out. So there's the doublet. And there's the ZS6BKW. Center of the screen. This may be difficult to see, but the sun is shining and illuminating. If you look in the middle of your screen, there's a wire going across. That is the long side of the off-center fed dipole. Now, it may be a little bit more difficult to see, but the wire from the 160 meter doublet, okay, there's the center point. And uh, that wire is coming down See if you can get your eye on it. You can see a little bit of it in the blue sky there. And it is going above. See, can you see the wire? Diagonally, top left to bottom right. That is the 160 meter doublet. That's one leg of it. And that's basically about 247 feet of wire total fed in the middle with ladder line. And see again, there's the off center fed dipole wire. So one crosses the other uh, perpendicular to one another. And that's what you want to do if you're going to have antennas stacked up like I do in, in this small uh, acres that I have. Just thought I'd show you that on a sunny day where you can see it. Hey, thanks again for watching videos on my channel. I hope you did enjoy this. Maybe you learned a practical tip or. Maybe you just entertained. But again, thanks for watching videos on my channel. Please hang around for half a minute. I want to recognize five of the Patreon team members that I call long haulers because without them, you wouldn't have seen this video or hundreds of others because I don't uh, do advertising with, some of, with the radio manufacturers, antenna people, anything like that. So I, I want to be able to bring you guys objective reviews, opinions, and uh, so without the support of the Patreon support team, I would not be able to afford to do this. So again, thanks a lot for uh, riding along on this adventure. And uh, please acknowledge these five Patreon support team members that I call long haulers. Again, 73 from N4HNH.